Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be episode one in a Kivi tutorial series with Python. And essentially what Kivi is, if you're unfamiliar, is an app building software uh, that uses Python as the driving code and then it has kind of a unique Kivi design language. And um, it, it lets you create apps that can be uh, run on any, um, on any operating system. So uh, Mac, PC, Linux, uh, the Android and the mobile iOS um, app stores can both support Kivi programs so you really can create a universal uh, app just by learning Kivi so that's pretty cool we'll dive right into it and if you have any specific questions about what it is or why to use it go ahead and let me know about in the comments I'll get back to you as soon as I can so to get started with it we're just gonna import Kivi that's kinda uh, you import the module anytime you need a module, this is pretty standard if you've seen this channel's um, Pygame tutorial series, you always just have to start with importing it. If you don't have it on your computer already, you will need to run pip to install it. Um, there are a million videos out there on, on using pip, so I'm not going to go into it on this one. But uh, So for this first video, we're just going to try to get a running app, something that displays some text on the screen. So from kivi.app import app and now what we're doing is we're actually importing specific functionality from the Kivi package and then from Kivi <clears throat> UIX is their code for user interface uh, it's just some shorthand specific to Kivi and then uh, import label and this syntax is going to be fairly standard from whatever you're importing and it'll all be lowercase but then the actual thing you're going to be importing is going to have a first letter capital that's pretty normal for Kivi. So let's go ahead and define our app here. We'll say class my app, and that is going to be app. And what do we want it to do? Well, this is just kind of the getting started with video. So let's just go ahead and return a label where the text says hello world. And this text equals inside of the uh, inside of the label function. This is why is it not like this? Oh, that's right. We gotta. So within the app, we have to actually build it. Um, we have to actually build the app before we can pass anything in. So then we'll put the label inside of it. Um, the build function is part of Kivi's app uh, app package where it, it's just saying at this point you're actually um, putting things into the app underneath this build function and so that's where you put the hello world and then a little bit of Kivi specific um, syntax that we're gonna need is if name equals main and this is going to become a little bit more useful and we'll understand kind of why you have to do things this way um, once we've gotten into multiple screens and adding widgets onto the screens and buttons and, and kind of text inputs and things like that um, but for now if you just know this is kind of the required syntax you need to get your app running and there's a lot of different ways that you can do this but this is sort of the most basic way to just have a viable app so that you can do some testing. If your name equals main, because that's gonna be the primary screen it loads to within the app, um, then run the app. And so uh, if you saw the Pi Game series, this is kind of similar to creating your game like while running game loop and then putting in some conditions for exiting the game loop. Um, this is just Kivi's format of that. But what we'll see if we run this on episode one. Okay, we get an app in the default uh, just this is the default window and it says hello world on screen so uh, one real nice feature about Kivi you can see right here the standard is it is easily resizable and all of your widgets anything you draw onto the screen unless you define a size and lock it in place it's going to scale with the uh, resizing of the screen this is kind of how it makes it easily transferable from one software to another um, so there you go, uh, five minutes, we have a running Kivi app and we can start uh, sticking stuff in here, texts, labels, pictures, anything we want, and we'll get into that in the next few series. So 
Hopefully you found this useful. Uh, I'll try to keep uh, cranking these videos out daily. And if you have anything specific you want to see on the channel, feel free to let me know in the comments. And uh, if you found this or anything else useful, I really appreciate the like and the subscribe on the video. It, it really helps the channel out a lot. And as always, good luck with your code and thanks for watching. Thanks. Bye.